more than 1.25 million veterans suffer from hearing loss and nearly 2 million suffer from tendonitis. Combined, they represent the top two service-related disabilities according to the Department of Veteran Affairs. According to OSHA standards and FI 48-127, the hearing protection provided must be capable of attending worker noise exposure below the time-rated average of 85 decibels over an eight-hour period. Technology advancements have excelled over the last decade, and communication headsets are no exception. Maintenance personnel utilize David Clark headsets with foam earplugs on the flight line operations to meet that standard for OSHA and AFI regulations. On the flight line, when maintenance personnel are launching out aircraft, uh, they tend to hold the ear cut back uh, due to communication issues or pull the foamy out to be able to hear the air crew. The benefits of this product include safety, clear communications, FOD mitigation, and enhanced operator capability due to the wireless communications and scalability and seamless seat burning operations. So wearing a J-list suit and putting a hood over it, it is very hard to do with this David Clark headset. With the in-ear bone connection technology, it eliminates that problem. As previously mentioned, FOD mitigation is a benefit to this product. As you can see, the David Clark headsets are very large in size with multiple metal pieces throughout. This is the bone conduction microphone, as well as the noise canceling operation, which cancels out all ambient noise. So when talking to air crew and the operators, all you hear is clear, concise communication. With the Access Wireless technology, this allows the capability for multiple maintainers to be connected at one time to the aircraft. Thus transmissions streamline the process of repair procedures within the maintenance community. This could also be utilized for operational checkouts. When multiple maintainers are on the aircraft at one time, maintaining that situational awareness for each maintainer on knowing what's going on exactly during that ops check. Current users of this product already include Naval Special Warfare, as well as U.S. Army 75th Ranger Regiment and AFSOC. With this product already prevalent in Special Forces, it's time to bring this capability to the maintenance community and Air Combat Command as well.